So, they just repeated that. Wow, far out. We're on the other side of the building. Where is he? Did we get drifted from the spawn point? Don't worry. I got this. Do you? Do you really? He's on the other side, right? We could just... There's a shiny. Look, Neil. All I need to do is get over that wall. I don't know what you're planning, but let's try and keep it simple. Don't worry. It doesn't get any simpler than this. Spawned a key. That... Hookshot! Okay, that's even better. Zelda. Love it. Come on. Alright, come on. Give me a break. I've always wanted to try this. Alright, I guess it's straightforward enough. Yeah! She's freaking doing Link voice. Ha 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 ha. Yeah! Freaking, uh, I love the developer. What? Oh, it's strength. Okay. I can feel it. I can feel it, Eva. What? This hookshot. Here's the hookshot that will pierce the heavens. Whoa. Uh oh. Did he just grab Jupiter? He just grabbed Jupiter. <laughs> Dude, unshrink Jupiter and put it back in orbit right now. <laughs> she just, she's just so matter of fact now. She just doesn't care. At this point, she just accepts all the craziness that happens when Watts is around. Uh, unshrink Jupiter and put it back in orbit right now. Relax. It was copy paste, not cut paste. Not to mention, in part, procedurally generated. Now, let me just turn on its localized gravity. Wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is just wild. What is wrong with you? What? You said it was alright to use my hookshot. Now let's get... Now let's just turn the gravity off and she's gonna fall. Oh, never mind. Bye, Jupiter. Thanks for the lift. No problem. He bounces. My goodness. I love... I love when developers are creative and charming and goofy like that. I want to know how he came up with that, or they came up with that in their brain. To be like, have him grab Jupiter. And have Jupiter say goodbye. You know? At least it wasn't Uranus. What was that? He made a joke. Nothing. Let's get going. I love when she makes those jokes and Watson's like, hmm, come to the dark side. Make all the jokes. Huh. Talking about staying up past bedtime. Don't even bother. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the paper airplane. It's adorable. It's not gonna fly over, you know. We're too far apart. I'm pretty sure this is why he learned... Wanted to be a pilot. Was to impress her, which makes sense because he's making the paper airplanes to go to her. So, are you ever gonna finish telling me that story? Hi. 
Is that a good itch? It's very loud. Is it a good itch? Good itches? Yeah, I feel good. Hmm? You got eye boogies. Get them off. Get them off. Get them. Get the eye boogies. Yuck. Hi. Come here. Oh, you're coming to say hello. Hi. Good doggy. Give face kiss. You're gonna play with your dad. Okay. That's what's great about this game is I can actually play with one hand. For the most part. It pierced space. <laughs> Dude, Watts would make it an amazing D and D character. Huh? The one with the injured bird you found out when you were a kid. Oh snap! Oh, I thought a bird story was gonna be another different story, but it may be a uh, Colin. There's not much to it. You know how it goes. A bird had a broken wing, and I took care of it for a while. The vet took it in afterwards, but... But what? But I tried to steal the bird back. <laughs> you thought you'd take better care of it? Of course not. I knew I shouldn't have. And why? Because it was my only friend, I guess. Just... Didn't want to let it go. Wow. What a load of sappy suckering. <laughs> I might give you a handkerchief for a dog or even a cat, but a bird? I knew I shouldn't have said anything. Never when I told that story to you either thought that or got bored to sleep. You there yeah he's getting all he's like um you've stopped petting me but everyone goes into things with their own context you know see like, hey you stopped with the butt pads please continue maybe it's only fair that they didn't care much for it maybe their bird was something different to you than it was to them or maybe you just sucked at telling this story. I just wanted them to relate. Ow. Yeah? How'd that work out for you? Not every story is meant to be told, you know? Some of them are meant to be kept. Hi. Can I help you? Thanks for the kisses. Thank you. I love you. So, how did it end? I... I think the bird flew off. I think I lost it. But came back to say goodbye one day. You think? I don't know. I keep on mixing up reality with daydream back then. I guess I was living in my head a little too much. Oh, I made it! Oh, Huh, I'm getting better at this. I used to daydream about taking off on a big paper airplane, you know? We'd fly all over the world, seeing all kinds of sights. And I could just fly across from balcony to balcony. Well, that's dumb. You can't fly on paper planes, silly. No duh. No duh? That's something I haven't heard in forever. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad... Why don't you go and become a pilot? There it is. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Yeah, why not? What do you mean, why not? One doesn't simply just go and become a pilot. Why doesn't one? Because... How? Well, planes take off from airports, right? It doesn't hurt to find one and ask. That's... If only it could be that simple. 
If you just let it be, maybe it could. I should go, Colin. I know. Hey. I'm gonna look for that airport tomorrow. Note flying. Well, the friendly girl next door would be one way to get inspired to fly, I guess. Remembering all these late night conversations all while on his dying bed. Oh, oh, now he's sleeping. Well, seems like he ran into a poster sale. Or puberty. <laughs> a poster sale? Hey, it's Pac-Man. Awesome. With a balcony room like this, his parents are sure confident in his sleepy and kinglessness. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, they said, why don't you go and become a pilot? Is that a diary? Well, the screen books from the shelf is just a journal? I was kind of wondering that. Seems legit. Oh, that's the memory thing. Oh. What sort of a horror movie? Huh, didn't think we had it in him. Really? down here. A Rudog plus choice sits in the bookcase. That's cute. Okay, let's go back outside. Oh, we found a cello. It's kind of crammed out here. Let's head inside. Interesting. That's something triggered from that then? Is the door unlocked? Also, that's creepy. Locked in his room. Here you go. Assorted VHS tapes, tapes consisting of sci-fi classics and horror movies. Did not give us what we needed. Hmm. Closer of a tropical island surrounded by a lagoon and barrier reef. Hmm. That looks familiar. It's the same place as the painting hanging above his bed in his elderly days. Oh, right. I also saw this exact picture in the attic earlier. For a teenager, he sure had some old-fashioned taste in posters. I thought it was going to be the place where he got married. I'm like, oof, that's heavy. that one to shift. That's a bummer. There we go. Okay. No! That's not how that's supposed to work. There we 
if this will work. Nope. All right, well. There you go. Green book's back. Back on the plane. Well, so much for the cliffhanger of whether he became a pilot, eh? Oh, Rosaline making a joke. I love it. More like cliffhanger. Watts is rubbing off on her. Oakland City Cactus 135, cruising flight level 390. Cactus 1295, Oakland Center, Alternator 73007, see ya. Ultimator 3007, Cactus 135, out. See, Greenhorn, you gotta play by the rules and use them proper radio words. Captain Ernst, every single time. Even when you're not on the radio at home to your wife. Oh, even when you're not on the radio, at home, to your wife. But the chief instructor saying. Do I look like the chief instructor? If her face almost endowed with this award-winning mustache, is her face endowed with this award-winning mustache? Don't think I'll be going easy on you just because this is your first flight with the company. As my first officer, there's only two things I ever want to hear from you. There, yes, Captain, and landing gear down. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's funny, sir. Do I look funny to you? No, you don't, sir. What did I just say about the only two things I expect to hear from you? Yes, Captain. So, do I look funny to you? Yep. <laughs> uh, landing gear down? The son of a gun. They sent me all the brainless pretty ones. This can't be serious. Hey, no problem, Crimson. Take care of yourself first and foremost, yeah? Need to pop out? Pop out, and we'll catch you another time. Well, you know how memories get exaggerated sometimes? I hope. Captain Ernst. I gotta know that one. Ernst. Award-winning mustache. <laughs> I had one request. Not to send me a gourd. And what do they do? They send me a gourd. Yes, Captain. Er... Yes, Captain. He sent me a gourd. Well, how was your first day? Is Captain always er Ernst always like that? I barely did a thing but sit there. Ha! Yeah, yeah. You should probably get used to that for a while. Forget about him, though. You got any plans for the night? The other flight attendants I will think he'd take you out for some drinks to celebrate. Oh, tell them thanks, but I'd rather head straight back home. My wife's just about halfway into her first trimester. I'm way far along enough as it is. Wow, double congrats! Got a name picked out yet? Yeah. We're thinking Asher. Oh, there was something. Where was it? There it is. Okay, so that's the memento. Are you still keeping journals in this thing? Just some sort of pre-flight checklist glued on here. Okay. 
Do you need to complete a checklist? 